Man, I ain't even gonna hold y'all. Go ahead, hit that like button for the boy. Go ahead, subscribe for the boy. But yeah, anyways, man, Trey Five. I, I'm not really trying to keep being y'all down, you know, with the same stories, but I think it's extremely, uh, I don't know. I don't want to say weird. I really don't even know what to say about it. But bro, definitely living his best life. He definitely living his best life. And the same like he can't, uh, man, I, I've had, I did hear some things in the past where, you know, the guys used to say, Trey Fadden, people got money. Trey Fadden, people got money. He was, you know, he did have money for lawyers when everybody else didn't. So maybe that's how he, you know, he able to go on these trips and all. But outside of the money, man, I think it's crazy he did. Like, this man was really on two hits. The attempted, it was an attempt to hit the first time, second time with Mac. Completed both times. Like, y'all, I'm not trying to. This is these are the people we should be angry at. This is who y'all need to be, you know, <clears throat> feeling some type of way about. These dudes probably in every hood. Every hood. And it's like, this is why we need to start fighting a good fight together, man. Because, bro, if somebody who was notorious for this gang, for this gang stuff. I'm talking about, I'm sure that the Chicago PD know exactly who he is. The rumors that they heard about him, uh, you know, things he might have done. So I, it's just crazy to me, man. Even what you can even look at the uh, Rico situation with him, man. These dudes set up so many different people. And because they were willing to tell on everybody, give up everything, no loyalty at all. You know, like me, mine don't stem from a point of uh, disloyalty. <laughs> Mine's is a persuasion or or I'm trying to use it as a, a persuasive uh, tactic to, you know, show shorties like and, and, and even people who not shorties, man, because we got older people out here living this life and nobody's talking down on it. We glorifying it and you got dudes who get overly mad and they just try to make logic with the street life, bro. It ain't no logic within the street life. There is completely no logic to it at all, man. They literally set this stuff up and put it in our hoods for us to fall. And then they'll use our people to bring us down and tear us down. <clears throat> but when somebody get out here and we start to speak on these dudes, we start to speak on the dudes that rap about what they do. And it's like, no, we get the hate, man. But listen, we have to think pre, you know, before things happen, you know, Get to the root of it, man. When we gonna start getting to the root of it, man? But, you know, I appreciate y'all, man, for just listening. If you even listen this far, man. Um, I guess it ain't really even a story, man. I just think that it's weird, man. I'm just, you know, coming. I guess I'm venting at this point. I'm venting y'all because I think it's, it's honestly weird to me, man. It's just weird to me. That's all. But, man, definitely hit that like button for me, man. Subscribe. And y'all let me know how y'all feel on it. Just this street life, man, and, and how they use our, our own. Like, not me. Nobody's using me. Nobody paying me to get out here and talk about anything. And I do it from a, a different point of love, man. People wouldn't understand it. And I get it. But yeah, man. Um, crazy. He out here living his best life. And, he, and the people that he was with doing the crimes, they locked up for a long time. But he out. Doing whatever you want to do. Crazy.